We booked uh, for them in full, um, so we in, we're anticipating uh, that uh, the total cost will be 750 million for us, and each one has a full booking for this, even though we haven't yet seen all of this. Um, I think each one has been really unprecedented. We had a global pandemic, a global recession, um, civil riots, uh, and a high level of catastrophes, which remind us of the fact that the planet uh, is uh, in troubles. Um, and all together, uh, they came in six months and made this uh, uh, a really unprecedented uh, half year. We're happy that we're still standing solid, solidly. Um, our capital position is strong and our profit suffered, uh, but uh, we can still recover um, from that. And we're committed to achieve our three-year um, plan targets uh, by 2022. I mean, as I understand, you run a lean ship over there, but as you look at property and casualty, the combined ratio at 99.8 is barely profitable, as you know. Is there any more that you can do on the self-help side, on the cost reduction side, to improve that combined ratio? Look, when, when this started uh, um, around January this year, we went back thinking about uh, what this will mean for us over the next years. Um, we are entering, or we entered already a different world. We will never go back to what it was last year. Um, everything um, then was uh, rediscussed internally. Um, we think we have the agility and the creativity to adapt ourselves uh, to be as profitable as we wanted to be in this new world. Um, and yes, I mean, we're ready to rediscuss everything uh, in order to make us uh, back to where we wanted to be um, in our plans. Mm. But, but no specific um, uh, additional cost reduction planning at this stage. I mean, you've, you've been busy over there, I know, in recent years uh, pulling the group round. But any further announcements on the cost reduction side due? Look, uh, it's, it's not really, I mean, we're growing revenues. Uh, so we don't need to uh, cut the cost. And cutting cost is not necessarily the reaction to this situation. This situation is changing the relationship between customers and service companies like ourselves. Um, so we are moving uh, you know, quickly into a digital space that we developed already before. But it's going to be, it's going to be, I mean, the future is going to be technology based. It's going to be interaction with customers. It will be around digital. Um, so costs matter. And of course, uh, we have been saving costs in these six months, not least because uh, we were forced not to travel, not to move. Uh, we canceled events. I mean, uh, the things that everyone did over the last six months. But I don't think that this is the key for the future. The key for the future is to adapt to the new reality of a digitally led world where customers need to have high service standards by interacting with technology. We will remember for a long, long time the fear of uh, you know, physically contacting um, other, other people, other humans. And, uh, um, you know, we will, we will have to provide the best possible services to the customers, and we started already that. So it's a huge shift in the culture, and it's a huge shift in the services that you provide. Mm. Can I ask you, what are you expecting in terms of premium inflation as you write new policy going forward from this then? Because obviously uh, there is the necessity to compensate for the impact that you've suffered. Um, what kind of premium ins insurance are customers going to see? 70% um, of the business we write uh, is commercial business. So our counterparties, our clients, our uh, organizations, companies. 30% um, uh, is individuals, 70% so is companies. Um, in the commercial space, uh, we see high double-digit increases, and often these increases uh, go towards 20%. Um, we have never seen uh, such uh, a hardening of the market um, over the last 15, 20 years. Um, this comes after, uh, um, of course, uh, the claims and the losses of the last months, 
but it's also due to reduction in capacity. Uh, reinsurers are raising prices, but also there are less players in the market. Um, and uh, this is a very healthy development, which gives us optimism for the rest of the year and for next years.